Welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming, where we are the voices inside your head. I'm Jonas. And I'm Bronwyn. <laughs> Bronwyn might. <laughs> and we're playing Bronwyn. <laughs> we're Bronwyning it up in the Super Soaker Detective. <laughs> uh, last episode, uh, spoiler alert if you missed it, we ruined a marriage. Yeah, we did kind of F up his we, whole life. Eh. I mean, if you're a married man proposing to another woman, then I guess you deserve what gets to you. In the, anyway. I mean, amen to that, man. You need to just, like, tell your wife before you do that. Yeah. What, what can we do smug? to Ellis? What do you... Lawrence. What do murderer. Do we do Ellis, yeah. Well, haven't we done enough? Not many people get to know when they're going to die, let alone get the chance to avoid it. We've it's given like Ellis a huge advantage. Couches, dude. So what should we do? I really think she's got a chance. You really think she's got a chance? So what should we what do? Should we do? Hmm. Yeah, I don't think we should Honestly, if we can. I don't know. All three of us should stick together, though. So there's no confusion over our alibis this time. That's a good point. That's a good idea. Yeah, they'll just, we should just huddle up in the lobby with Violet. <laughs> What are you doing Sam now? loves me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting married. <laughs> I don't know. I don't want to lie about my alibi again, though. What should I do? Log into Taratasm. Oh, yeah. The yeah. hell is Taratasm? I don't know, but we're going to do it. Are yeah. you kidding me? Yeah, let's log into Toro. Good idea. I'll stay in my room, log in, and wait for you to give me the all clear. Oh, the online Toro uh, thing. Okay, that makes you're sense. the best. <laughs> Aw, she's so innocent, dude. She is. We're gonna have a fun time doing things. Jonas, for her. Jonas, <laughs> I need you to <laughs> just go bonk yourself. Bonk yourself. Uh, we did Lexi. We did Rain. We did Violet. Uh, you know what? Let's let's give it a shot. I'm I'm interested to see if there's one of the, no. Okay, Zach wants nothing to do with Bronwyn. Oh, especially you got a five head, dude. Let's visit Poe as Bronwyn. Okay, nothing. All right. Well, I think that's probably it for Bronwyn. Yeah. Bronwyn tales are over. Uh, do you want to do the other two? Yeah, let's just jump. I want to be Lexi one All more right, time. Let's do it, dude. We'll, right. Let's go back to, let's go go back to Zach, it. dude. He'll think she's the real deal that time. He'll be like, welcome, friend. Or maybe Violet and go see Zach. Because she just told them to. Yeah, because there's something unfinished with Zach. Let's do her real quick. Hello. I'm, I'm Violet. Violet. I'm Violet. I'm Violet. I do like the name Violet, though. Yeah. That's a, that's a hot name. And like Bridget. Mm. Bridget. You just like that because of Overwatch. <laughs> what? <laughs> Her name is Brigitta. Brigitta Lindholm. Yeah, I'm a nerd. All right, whatever. <laughs> Go see Zach. <laughs> yeah, Zachary. Oh! He's home. I followed you to Dorota's <gasps> last night. Yes. We already told him that. Are you insane? The other way around. Why did you follow me, you stupid? <laughs> Bitch. Whoa! You killed Dorota. You had sex with Dorota. You killed. Yeah. You say we oh dear. You shouldn't have said that. Oh! It could make me very angry. Oh! Unlike you, the guest house isn't impenetrable. Whoa! Unlike you, the guest house isn't impenetrable. <gasps> we got that's freaking proof right there, my dude. That's proof. I don't know, dude. That's that's proof. You gonna tell me that ain't proof? I mean, I hate the fact that it's a brother too, Jonas. <laughs> but right. I mean, come on, man. If he, he admitted it in not so many words, but yes, I guess so. Go see the chief. Oh, he won't see me because I'm freaking Dorota. I'm Violet. Go see Poe. Maybe he'll hook up with her too. No, maybe he'll hook up with her. All right, too. let's go be Lexi and go see Zach, because we gotta be. Wow, we called her a stupid bee. 
Uh, he said B Dude, word. If you call a woman a stupid B, they don't tend to act too kindly to that. No, they have a dysfunctional relationship, though. Obviously, it's re- it's really unfortunate for both of them. I mean, because they're toxic most... together. Aren't <laughs> who are we gonna be, Lexi? Yeah. All right. Take her to go see Zach. Maybe he'll be like, ooh. Hi, I'm this, Lexi. Man. Oh, but I'm we turned, we got drugged and turned into ourselves. Maybe I think he's really there this time. Oh, so he's just going to, he just thinks that Lexi is a disgusting creature, not actually Sam. Oh, yeah, let's try this. Yeah, because he, because he, uh, oh, uh, yeah, we already see. ruined that, that. I don't think there was anything there anyway, to be honest. Uh, all right. Um, I guess we'll take her to go see Bronwyn real quick in rain. Yeah. And then uh I do want I just want to be Sam and go see the the uh go see the chief and see if there's an update with that information, man. There's got to be something It's going to be that. soon. Whatever happens to Alice, it will be soon. How do you know it's going to be soon? I can sense it. Are you not picking anything up, Lex? There's a traveler nearby. No. How do you know all this? Mescaline, mainly. But I don't recommend you try it. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> mescaline? Do you really want to hear this? Uh, yes. yes! Yeah, dude, I want to hear about you tripping balls, girl. <sighs> At uni, I read a book by Aldous Huxley called The Doors of Perception. Okay. He takes mescaline and basically trips his balls off. <laughs> and the party girl I used to be thought, yay. <laughs> My experience wasn't anything like his, though. People look like tiny rainbow outlines. And I would notice that some of them would just appear from nowhere. Those ones, the ones from nowhere, I think they're the travelers. They kind of merge into one person and suddenly there's only one outline. That's what I see. But you, no drugs for you, young lady. Tea and nothing else, all right? <laughs> okay. Noted. Noted. All right. Okay, so you we can't do drugs. No, I'm not going to. She does gonna... mescaline. Yeah, she's so, a little bit of a party girl. Aliens. Violet. What are we thinking, Lex? Violet and aliens. Hasn't Bron told you? Violet said she was abducted by aliens. Dude. But not your usual stick-me-on-a-slab-call-me-grey type aliens. Aliens that decorate. Put drawings of Decorated. monkeys scratched in your skin. <gasps> Traveler. A traveler. Exactly. I think it was using Violet for room planning. Apparently, it wants a set of heads on the wall. Red heads, to be more specific. If it's a traveler, why is it strangling people? Yeah, I guess that's a better question. Yeah. Well, it's a right, obviously. But the. Alien Violet's talking about probably isn't the same traveler. Perhaps this is something new we haven't discovered yet. Using humans as decor. Oh man. Ray, why'd you pray for them? Yeah, sure. Why'd you pray well, for them? Because right now, I can't think of anything else that would help. Maybe try and get answers from the tarot? Yeah. The only reason. tarot with real answers is Mercury. And Mercury asks the questions. So other than staring at it for the rest of the night, I'm out of ideas. True. All right, fine. Be that way then. All right, so uh, I guess that is really all the people I can think to be at this juncture. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll be Sam and go into the uh go to see the chief real fast and then and then get to the next chapter i guess yeah because i feel and maybe even be sam and just like take zach in for questioning because like that's some pretty heavy stuff that we found out there. yeah well i feel like nothing will advance till we get to the next chapter that's that's true but Let, let's let's see if there's anything here okay Zach said you were at Dorota's last night. 
you have scars on your back. So I know a lot of information about this young lady. Mm. Oh, I want to ask it all, dude. All right, Zach said you were at Dorota's last he night. He didn't. He was the one in her bedroom last night. I never made it that far. I just followed him to her house. Why were you following him? I wrongly assumed we were in a relationship. I thought that he was cheating on me. Which he was. I saw him leave Dorota's and I followed him straight after. I don't know if anyone else was there. Did Zach just leave and she did it, though? Ah. Yeah, that's a possibility. Why didn't you tell me this earlier? Yeah, because she lied to us and said she... But here's the thing. The chief said she said she doesn't remember, but I got that. Yeah. He said that the whole time. So maybe the chief is the guy who's the traveler. Oh, my God. Just, there's so much. There's so much. All right, hold on. Why didn't you tell us earlier? Uh, did you see anyone else? Why or because this is going to just be like, well, I didn't want you to know. Uh, that's true. Yeah, let's go see if she saw anybody else. Yeah. Uh, saw the chief. Uh, all right, fine. Nobody went in or out whilst Zach was there. I told him as soon as he left, he drives like a maniac, so I'd lose him otherwise. You have scars on your back. Yes. Should I be surprised you've seen it? I've been watching him in the shower. Years ago, tattoos and piercings were frowned upon, but they're all in vogue now. Maybe branding scars will be in fashion too. Yeah, I knew she was into that. Mm. I was actually right when I said she was into some weird body modifications. Yeah, dude, she's into body mods so she just has like keloids in her back i don't think uh she keloids up though uh let's go we already, do yeah. we already do this we talked to everybody oh but now we have more info we do found you, yeah exactly do you know lawrence petruski it rings a bell but no sorry sam Oh, let's go back and talk to Rain, because we know Rain's real name now. But it's, wait, it said be careful and not he might flight. Oh, he might be a flight risk if we ask let's him. Let's see about... what he says. Yeah, that's true. Tell me about Hong Kong. Tell me about... <sighs> well, we don't want to accuse him of his name. Let's have him tell me about Hong Kong. All right. It's a lovely place. It has the third most high-rise buildings of any city in the world. Not literally tell us about the city, a-hole. He just told us about... He, just, he literally just told us about Hong Kong. <laughs> He's like, the city in China with population of... <laughs> the Sakura Blossoms in vogue are... Yeah. So that's what this is about. Chief Dupont has finally dug up my old record. I am Lawrence Petrovsky. And the murdered girl. And the murdered That's who's Victoria talking about. Cheng. A very good painter. I didn't kill her, though. I was trying to save her. Mm. Tell me about it. Hong Kong. Oh, we would have skipped all of this. We would have jumped to the next chapter. It was our third encounter with a traveler. We'd managed to trap her on the roof of an apartment complex. Roughly translated, the building was called Flight, which was ironic. When the traveler realized we had it cornered, it tried to jump off. No. I managed to grab Victoria's ankle, but I couldn't hold on. But the traveler would have killed herself. Hong cause... Kong being Hong Kong, there was about 37 tourists that filmed the whole thing. Oh. So to some people, it looked like I was dangling her over the edge of a building to meet her doom. Yeah. Mm, I but, wasn't. But somehow you got away scot-free, huh? I was trying to save her. Mm, all right. All right. See, he's not a flight risk, and now he just knows that, you know, he tried to save a girl's life or something. What's up, baby? Mm. I come from Sullivan. 
Uh, tell me about Victoria Chang. Or do you know about Lawrence Petresky? Oh, let's go there. Oh my god, who told you about Victoria? She died. Jumped off a building. We tried to save her. Well, Rain tried to save her. Sam, we need to save Ellis. Victoria's already gone. They wow. Se they seem very, very genuine. And these people. Yeah. Who betrothed what? Who betrothed what? Who betrothed what? It's Rain's real Don't, name. Let's not give that away. Yeah. I think, yeah. Uh, Lawrence Petrescu. Uh, no. Should I? Don't want to ruin their trust. All right. Yeah, you got a good point. He he's been he's been on the up and up with us. I feel they seem extremely genuine. All right. Uh, let's hail a cab. Uh, I want to see if we can just confront Zach right now. Zach, we already know, fam. Violet oh, says you're at the Rotas. Yeah. Well, if Violet said it, it must be true. I was here last night, as I said. Okay, so he's. So what, I just gotta. I already know he's lying, though. I know he's lying. Like, he... can't you just be like, dude? I know you're lying. No, you're. I know you're lying. Yeah. Just like I know you're lying, dude. Just do like the whole. That would make me very angry if you say that. It's like, you're <laughs> like, how do you know that happened? You're like, dude, I know you're lying, Poe. You gotta chill out with the workplace in involvement. You ask Ellis to marry you? Oh, there oh, we maybe go. Maybe I could take it back. Do you know Ellis is selling your amethyst pendant? Yeah, let's ruin the marriage. Which one? The marriage? This one? No, like, did you know Ellis is selling your amethyst pendant? Oh, okay. Yes. Uh, I'm surprised she told you about that. How did that come up? No, he I knows. I was Zach. Over what? breakfast. No, let's say Zach. Yeah, Zach Weston. Why would Zach Weston know that? Maybe she was selling it to him. Ellis is a bit of a spendthrift, unfortunately. Likes to live life on the edge of her credit card limit. And you're going to marry into that? It's actually not the first time I've bailed her out. And you're going to marry into that? Oh, wow. <laughs> the money was for Dorota. There are other times the money was for Dorota? Other times, yeah. Let's let's see her, her credit history. Yeah. Several, actually. Student oh. loan, council tax, income tax, Monte Carlo. We've become a bit intertwined financially, it would seem. And then you're like, let me just, let me just, you're her sugar daddy, dude? You, you asked her to marry you? I didn't expect news to travel this fast. Ugh. You can't tell anyone else. Oh, I'm gonna tell everybody. I've not told my wife yet. <laughs> I think she should at least hear it from me. Well, yeah. What? And if Ellis dies, would it take you so long? Yeah, let's ask him that. Yeah. You ask the wrong question, detective. Why now? Because of death. When a loved one, or you yourself, faces death, it makes you hold account of all your life decisions. Not marrying Ellis would be my biggest regret. Yes, I love my wife and our children. And if she loves me, too. she let me go. Ellis lights a fire in me. My wife never found the fireplace for me, <laughs> let alone lit. Stay with your let's, wife let's, and family. Let's tell him that, dude. You want to try to mend the relationship? I'm... Then we're going to bring out. El oh, we already brought Ellis to him, yeah. Dude, you I can't agree. condone my actions. I understand. Oh, let's Divorce bring him to is Ellis. Strangely delicious. That's a good idea. A great polarizing topic for society. So many people think it's clearly wrong. So many people think it's clearly acceptable. As the tide turns, the stigma fades. Enjoy your life, detective. I hope you pick once and pick right. Oh, they were trying to say you need to double down. You can't go back. I really just want to take Poe to Ellis just to see uh, now that we've now that we're fiancés. Yeah, man, it's very strange, like how, like the the whole. <laughs> I don't know the personality that goes. Let's be Poe again, and we'll go to Ellis. But I think that's probably I'm Poe, and this is your August update. August update. 
Yeah, that's probably about think, it before we go to the next yeah, chapter. Yeah, I think this is about all the interactions. We Wow, dude. We did a lot after they would have let us go. <laughs> yeah, we, yeah. We ruined a marriage. We found out Zach's a killer, oh potentially. Oh, my God. It's It's got to be Zach or, or Violet. I think that Zach might have left and then Violet in a like jealous rage. Because it's already been kind of proved that... Uh, Oh, God, please say, honey, I love you. When are we getting married? How long have we been together now? On the radio? I started at Radio August about two years ago. Why? No, I mean, romantically. Do you, you want, want me to leave my wife? Yeah. I only want you to do what makes you happy. I'll be waiting for you either way. Why didn't you tell me about the Oh my god, so she does love him. What? Wow, so we said do you want do you want me to leave you? So she wasn't with him because he was married. What? So if he goes to her and says I left my wife, she'll be like, let's do it. What? Wow. Why didn't you tell or me about Dorodo, dude? Now what we, didn't now I we... tell you about Dorota? You were, that sleeping, you were sleeping, with her. sleeping with her. I'm giving you a chance to tell I'm me I'm giving now. you a chance to tell me now. Oh, I like that let's, one. Yeah, yeah, let's give yeah. her the chance to lie. Can't we talk about this another time? I'm about to die. It's just that it's late, and I'm about to get murdered. <laughs> I thought you'd come to put your arms around me and tell me everything was going to be all right. We need to talk about this now. Oh, jeez. That's hugger. I feel like if we do... Yeah, I feel like if we do that, it is going to... Uh, Blow up? Yeah. Yeah, and, yeah. Let's and we just don't, hug her, dude. Who really cares? Yeah, right? She's got a girlfriend, too. We need to see if this is genuine. Wow. She's really banging him, dude. <gasps> Stay at the radio, Pope. Sam's taking care of me now. I'm gonna be saved. Didn't you know? <laughs> I'm by myself. Sam's taking you. care of me. I love you. Wow. I love you. I'm s no, I love you. Wow. Yeah, I can't stay because I have to be Sam. Yeah. Holy crap. Dude. Yeah, see, and all of that smack you were talking about, my dude, my, that absolves him. So he's he's definitely can't be the killer. But we already know it's between Violet. Wow, dude. It's between Violet and Zach right all now. All right. Are, are we uh, are we moving on in the next Yeah, one? man. So on the next episode, Damn, we'll be Sam and we'll go like talk to the This like bonus coverage, dude. Oh, my God, dude. A lot of meat and potatoes Woo! in there. Holy ish. All right, Crazy Towns folk. That's all the time we got for today's episode. If you already liked and subscribed to our channel, wait, if you haven't, do that. If you have, <laughs> hit that bell because we like real things here for Jonas. TNT! <laughs> we are out there.